right, so welcome back to the Chop Up. Yeah, what is this, episode 22? 22. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Making moves. Yeah, we got past that hot tub, so yeah. well, we're on a roll. Hell yeah, dude. Well, let's keep it going. Yeah. We have a question that came in from Aaron that was kind of interesting, and it's a question we've been asked before. Yeah. Um, I was asked recently on a uh, presentation to Mattel this sim- similar question. Um, Aaron reached out and wanted to know, are we ever approached by female uh, business owners or female brands, you know, looking for work? And if so, how do we approach that? Do we approach it the same way as any other client? Or, you know, what does that look like? So, yeah, I mean, we, we do. We get approached quite a bit. It's not, you know, obviously not a ton of our work, but we, we have a logo project in the works right now. Yeah. For a female-owned brand. Totally. I mean, in design, everything's a challenge. So it's like it's just a different challenge. You know, so we do a lot of stuff for like, let's say from infants all the way to, you know, adults. So that's always a challenge switching from, let's say, a, a 30 year old, you know, T-shirt to a six year old logo. Um, and then now you're going to say a female, you know, logo for, you know, whatever it is. Um, yeah, it's a just brand. a different challenge. Yeah, we actually had an apparel brand recently that we did this big kit for um, the brand was pretty heavy on the moto side um <clears throat> stuff like that but then they came back to us a couple months later for a whole female line you know and it was like okay cool but we need to switch gears yeah but yeah it's definitely something we do i kind of enjoy you yeah. know those projects coming in it's like okay you know let's let's take a pause you know get rid of the blacks and you yeah. know <laughs> yeah. deal with a whole different color palette so i mean it would definitely get boring to just do one segment always whether yeah. it be kid logos all day you know whatever it is so it's just something to keep you know keep you on your toes and always be guessing and you know just figuring out this is a big puzzle at the end of the day so it's like how are we going to figure out and solve this puzzle um it's a different puzzle than we normally do but i, I would like to, again to think that we would we would solve it so yeah yep for sure so yeah answer is uh yes and and we have done it, and we do, and we, and we enjoy working with those brands and, and products yeah. and things. So. so, yeah, Aaron, if you have a, a brand you want to hire us for, um, holler see. at us. All right. So today we're going to do a, kind of a first-time deal, something a little special. We're going to do a kind of Zoom video call with a client, friend, um, designer. Designer we respect highly, uh, made by James. Yeah. yeah, and he's over in the U.K., so, yep. yeah, we're going to... We're going to bring them in, use the internet here, and yeah, talk Kinda to them. Link them up, r- run through. Uh, we did three different projects with him, so we're going to roll through that, kind of sit with him and, and see what's going on over in the UK. Hell yeah. Yeah, he's funny, so this should be a, should be a fun one. It should be cool. So let's, let's check it out. All right. James Martin, made by James. How you doing, buddy? Bonjour. Um, yeah, I'm really good, thank you. Yeah, really good. How, how is the team Lincoln? The team is great. Yeah, we're here cranking away. This is our first uh, episode with a client via video conference uh, in the UK. So kind of excited about this. And uh, of course, uh, wouldn't be happier to have that first one be James. So for real. No, yeah, it's um, yeah, pleasure. I say I've been as soon as these chops were happening, I was like, where's my invite? What's going on? So I'm all right. I'm all right being the first on the, on the video. So it's all good. We've done three different projects with you, which we were super stoked when you reached out um, for a couple projects. It was kind of a no-brainer on our end. Following you, you know, as a logo designer and everything, we were stoked to uh, to kick in and kind of help, you know, with your brand and the graphics. So we're going to cruise through today those three projects, just kind of roll through them, talk about some of the some of the design, some of the brief that went into it, and how it all turned out, kind of get your feedback on that. Sweet. Yeah, excited. I said something that, um, yeah, I mean, we're going to talk more about it, but yes, I've been like for a long, long time, probably a decade been waiting to work with you guys. So yeah, dream come true for me for sure. Hell yeah. That's cool to hear. If anything, I was actually trying to push Dan to fly you out here. I was like, Hey, what can we do? You know, let's, let's make it happen. You know, we're going to have, you know, Will with the private jet, send it on over. Uh, Yeah. yeah. Didn't make it happen, but you know, I look really good in a hot tub too, so uh, maybe next time. Well, if we do, if we can get around too, we'll try and make it happen when we can get you out here. And COVID and traveling is better. So, all right, let's uh, let's dig into this thing. So, the first project you reached out to us for was a graphics kit. Um, so you're looking for something to kind of represent your brand, something you could use on Instagram, different posts, different places. I mean, you ended up making signs out of some of the stuff that's hanging in your office. So let's just kind of jump into this kit and look at what look at what we did for you. You definitely gave some reference, some bullet points on what you wanted, but at the same time, kind of left it up to us. You know exactly what you're looking for. So um, 
So this was good. I mean, you had your bullet points as far as what you wanted. Um, number one, you know, you, you know, me, my face, that's a, that's a no brainer. You got the beard and the, and you know, you got, you got a significant look there. So, um, and then the wolf and then rolling down to the Robin and pencil and things like that. I think it's always important to let people like talented people like do their own thing, like give it, give them enough, but you know, don't give them everything. Um, you know, I said, we've been chatting for a while now, so it's, I knew you guys would smash it. And I think it's probably a little bit difficult Like things like Robins. I mean, obviously bearded face is pretty normal, but you know, Robins and weird things like that, um, might, must've been quite fun to mess around with. You sent over some photos of yourself. You have the wolf tattoo on your hand as well as the Robins. So th that was helpful. That thing probably hurt. Yeah, it did. Not as bad as the one that was on my nipple, but we oh. won't show you that one here. <laughs> All right. So maybe another day. Wolves, I've always been super passionate about. Robins are like weirdly my, my spirit animal. I don't know why. Um, but, you know, dig them. Just, yeah, nature really is you know, being outside and stuff is very important to me and my mindset. So, yeah. Love it. Jump into graphic number one. So we got the the uh, sketchbook and pencil. That's a no-brainer for what, for what you do. Process, you know, I'm big sketcher, big, you know, analog kind of dude. So, um, yeah, I much prefer to spend, you know, two hours in a sketchbook than I would, you know, on a computer. So, yeah, I mean, it's something that's kind of known with me in my process. So, yeah, it had to be done, the old sketchbook and the pencil. Yeah, and you guys smashed it, loved it straight away. Boom, there's the, the face. Yeah, I think it's perfect. There. I mean, a lot of you have a lot of attributes that make it easier yeah. for us to design. So if you had no beard, hat, and glasses, it'd probably be a little challenging. It's going to look like, you know, every old, you know, Johnny down the street. So, yeah, cool piece overall. I like the highlights on the hair. The highlights, the glasses, even the shade in the glasses, you know. And, you know, the funny thing is, like, even my mum and dad see that and they go, that is you, which is um, a testament to the work for sure because, um they don't even look at computers, so it's always a good thing. <laughs> the Robin, uh, that thing's fun. Yeah, that's solid. It's a little fat, a little chubby. <laughs> Bit like me. <laughs> no, I mean, yeah, that Robin was sick. All these little elements, I wanted to have a little bit of a Made by James add-on. So like or maybe the logo in somewhere or Made by James in somewhere or the pencil just to kind of tie each individual element back to me a bit. And I think that's kind of what makes them a little bit more unique as well, which I love because I'm a bit quirky and weird and I think they kind of work together, which is, um, yeah, I mean, I said I was, as soon as I saw all this, I was over the moon, no changes, <laughs> which is perfect, isn't it? It's uh, it rare, rare to come by. So it no it changes is. is a big victory for us. We pulled down the WWE belt, belt and, uh, you know, we get to walk around the office with it, so. After uh, after some of the mascots and things, we rolled into some s small badges on this round. Going with your uh, your mantra yeah. team. Yeah, something that I've always um, d I don't know why don't know why it's kind of just stuck a little bit. Um, and yeah, the team is obviously you know something that I use quite a lot through my comms and stuff. And you know, even the way you use the my logo as the M, I think was a massive win. Um, and something that again, takes it up a level from just banging cool type. It makes it a bit more mine. Um, and I've got big plans for all this stuff. Um, you know, it's just finding the time, isn't it? I've, I've used a load of it, you know, already. It's just trying to find the right time and the right place to kind of, you know, execute it properly. And also I like the way it emphasizes T because I'm English. So that's always good. I've seen it used a lot by you, you know, even on the in your office, those signs in the background. It was cool to see that. What's the story on the 43? Misspent childhood, mate, to be fair. You know, it was one of those um, numbers that every time I was out smoking as a kid, like smoking weed behind the sheds and in the field, you know, I always used to see number 43 everywhere. And it's kind of cut, become my kind of lucky number so to speak. Um, you got it tattooed all over me. And um, yeah, it's just one of, you know, just uh, I think when you when it is your lucky number, you tend to spot it more. But it's, yeah, ever since the age of about 16, it's kind of been a number that's stuck with me. So yeah, it had to be, it had to be in the kit um, as a little kind of nod to youth, I think, misspent youth. 
So this is where we kind of brought the color in with your gold and actually started adding adding in like the logo on your hat and things like that. So this was the final final kit that we turned over to you. Yeah. Um, and I loved it straight away. <laughs> yeah, sometimes, you know, when you just kind of, you know, you, I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of a weird one because, you know, wanted to work with you guys for ages. You're kind of apprehensive a little bit. What am I going to get? You know, what is if I don't like it? But, you know, straight away, I was over the moon. Um, yeah, there are so many things here that will be with me forever. So, um, yeah super chuffed super chuffed of it all and i think the gold just kind of brings it you know gives it an extra, an extra layer doesn't it just that depth that shadow um absolutely dig it love it yeah definitely added to it with the uh especially with the robin in your in your headshot cool well, let's uh, let's move on to the type kit so i think it was a couple months later you came back <laughs> and said hey i need a i need a bunch of type you know a bunch of badges type made by james um mj things like that so we're stoked to, to work with you again on this and once again you sent over a nice little brief just you know keeping it simple just some bullet points some of our type pulled out and then of course your black white and gold um, for the colors you know type's always been like a big you know something that I you know I'm more known for my kind of icon you know I've got a big love for like tattoo culture you know skateboard culture but I can't you know, I probably could have spent some time trying to do it myself, but I thought, why not get the the, the boys to do it? Um, yeah, and so as soon as I had this idea to get some type stuff done along with the kind of almost flash sheety stuff, um, yeah, I was, yeah, pumped to see what was coming. And yeah, again, you didn't disappoint. <laughs> yeah, it's great to hear. Yeah, let's roll through some of these comps here on the first round. So just different made by James type. I think you you know you kind of let us roll with that as well as the MJ. Different options here. Full page of badges and things. Yeah, this was I use a I, I use a lot of these in, in my daily stuff like on um yeah any sort of comms really and like um newsletters and all sorts of stuff and yeah it's, I think it's just nice to have a, like a different take. You know, I have ideas in my mind um, and then seeing as somebody else execute them is, um, you know, because you never know, you know, I always stick to my safe, safe zone, but to have somebody else's spin on it was very cool, really digged it. And then, yeah, round two, we started to get some really cool shit going together. Yeah, this, yeah, this second round was, yeah, bonkers, 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 loved it. This uh, M MJB lockup is kind of fun. This was the Damaso piece, wasn't it? I it think you like a couple, couple pieces. Um, can't go wrong with the scripts. Yeah, script with a tail always wins. I think that was another thing we were chatting about, wasn't it? It was like, what's the hierarchy? You know, we can't always make made by James, like everything winning. And I think what we, that's what we chatted about, wasn't it? It's like, let's, like, put, let's make made the thing and then chuck by James and I think that kind of allowed you guys to have a little bit more freedom with something powerful and then chucking a little bad boy in by James um, and that's when it really started to click for me um, and also seeing it like this you know three different lockups of the same thing all look different and all will work in different ways as well so yeah very excited about this lot yeah yeah kind of looking at this page 27 here with the where you have the three different colorways knocked out you know, the white, they look totally different. You know, that top one with the white and gold has a way different feel than that bottom, you know? Yeah, even for myself, it's like, oh, shoot, do I? which one do I show? You know what I mean? I love all these. So it's like, you know, ask Jordan. He's like, show them all. I'm like, perfect. We're putting them all on the page. So yeah. it's kind of hard to choose. One is elegant. One is, you know, a little more edgy. So, yeah, we'll let you choose. Yeah, I love them all. <laughs> That's what made it easy. We, yes, uh, same, gave them all to you. <laughs> same thing with this set. You know, it's like, do we put the yeah. do I put the rectangle around it? Do I not put the rectangle around it? You know, inverse, not. Um, yeah, this one's actually become like a. In fact, they've all become quite a big part of me, but especially that last one, the one at the bottom. You know, without the vessel around it, that's become like a big old beastie for me. It's every every time I look at that one, it gets better and better and better. Um, and that's, you know, when, you know, somebody's done something very special there for sure. Yeah. It's a sharp one. Uh, it'll stab you. Like you yeah. Said. <laughs> it, if you touch it, it'll cut you. <laughs> this one was fun. I think Damaso did this. 
yeah, moving into a little bit more of um, kind of like the old Sailor Jerry kind of um, tattoo style wasn't it? Um, with a bit of a wobble. Um, and again, like these, for me, I mean, this is when, when people look at these, like people who know me, um, they look at these and they go, this is bang on, you know, because, you know, I might be covered in tattoos, but I'm actually just a big, cuddly, wobbly teddy bear. So <laughs> I don't know if that's, you know, I don't know if that's a good thing, but I think, they, I think personality wise, you know, it kind of hits me on the, hits me in the face, this one for sure, you know, you know, just, just fun, just fun, but very cool and very unique. I love it. Another script, keeping it simple and clean. And then moving on to the final round. Some slight tweaks here. Uh, a lot of these stayed the same. Um, you went with yeah. the, the circle. These are all winners in my circle yeah. One, yeah. One, yep. one squeeze through from the first round there. Yep. Cart, that's going to be on a hat very soon. All right. Ooh, I'll, I'll take one of those hats. There you go. <laughs> all right. So then you reached out for uh, the third third project, which was the Tattoo Flash, which when this one came through, it was like, okay. Yep, got this. We got one guy here that can smash this whole deal. Um, and I think Brandon did the whole kit. You had sent the brief with the, with the Sailor Jerry style, kind of referenced the some of those old pieces back in the type type kit, and then just sent a lot of good reference as far as the style and look. So this was kind of a no-brainer for, for Brandon. Yeah, you know? definitely. I love seeing your logo uh, turned into, you know, put the add the wobble, put the drop shadow, and match that, you know, previous type piece. Yeah, I mean, that was, I said, that was one of my, yeah, one of the picks from the, from the, like the previous round two version stuff. And yeah, that, that is a, that's a winner. I've actually got most of all these bits and pieces, like little animated GIFs now. And I've got that one as like a little, just sits there and wobbles and vibrates all day. Um, so yeah, I mean, this, I mean, this was a straight away win, all of this, you know, um, couldn't have been more happy with it. Everything was, yeah, really good. <laughs> Even looking back at it now. And then it's cool when it all kind of comes together, you know, as that Instagram post or, or whatever that is. But seeing it all locked up together, you know, stuff from the first round, first project, second project, and third project kind of all brought together. Yeah, Instagram really loves when you uh, compile everything, <laughs> put it on a grid, you know, get some reposts on whoever, Typetopia, a couple, three, <laughs> three, four followers. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is this is how you know, as you say, this was three projects all kind of rolled into like one little square, wasn't it? And what I like about it, it's all very different, but you can definitely tell it's all owned by the same person, which is, um, which is very cool, which is what it was all about. You know, I like a little bit of weird, wonderful, cool. Um, yeah. And it all just works, you know, especially if you think about like the logo, like actually my logo icon, how it seamlessly transfers across all the little bits and pieces that you've done i think is it's magic really love it yeah honestly i mean your logo is great and as far as you know using it in designs like it lends itself yeah. well you very, know very it usable is, yeah that square which S is great symmetric always helps you know i saw a little post somewhere that some of those are in your your new book coming out tell me about your new book that's launching yeah um that's yeah that's all that all came about pretty i've actually look right here i don't know if you can see it actually got like delivered look who's that who's that little dude that's a little lincoln jobby there um so yeah and then you know mash up the logos and lincoln you're very i mean you're basically very i actually just talk about you in my book which is really cool oh. um but yeah so you know it's you know for me yeah the book was like a totally random thing you know they approached me like pre-covid um you know, would you want to write a book like the publishers? And it was like one of those things I never planned to. Um, but yeah, it was kind of like, why not? I'm going to be on lockdown for the next 18 months. I might as well do something. So um, yeah, kind of went through the process and going through like the interview process. What kind of book do you want to write? Um, and yeah, kind of got further, got further, got further. And now, you know, I said like 18 months later, it's due out in like November, November the 18th. Well, it's pre-orders already, but due out on in November. Um, so yeah, it's all becoming very real. I'm starting to poop myself a little bit. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a, basically a book of like what I've, every question I've ever been asked as a logo designer, I've kind of answered rather than it being like a 
self promo kind of thingy. It's kind of more of like a like a designer guide kind of thingy. Because I mean, I fucked up loads when I was a kid. Um, so yeah, it's kind of telling people that they can you know get through it and still still do stuff as well. So yeah, it's 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 been it was quite a soul searcher, but also. Yeah, just fun to create. You know, it's fun writing a book. I kind of want to do another one. That's cool. Yeah, that's a. I mean, that's a huge, huge undertaking, and you know, a huge feather in your your cap to have. You know, a public publisher reach out and and do that. That's rad. And what a. I mean, that I was wondering kind of what was inside as far as the content and stuff, and kind of what you mentioned now um, that you answer a lot of questions that you've been asked over the years. That seems like a great format. You know, for a book more so than like, oh, here's my story. Um, uh, that seems cool, especially with you and all your sketches and your process. That makes total sense. Yeah, and man, what a perfect time to to you know build that out and crank on it. Yeah, during COVID. Yeah, man. that's that's <laughs> perfect. You know. Yeah, it gave me a little um, like. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I don't. I mean, you guys are pretty probably the same, but the studio kind of got busier because people were now having time to kind of do their stuff. That's what I found. You know, lots of people were like well, I don't really like the job I'm in, so I'm going to go and start the business that I want to, <laughs> you know. So I kind of got slightly busier over the COVID period. But yeah, I mean, the book was, you know, somebody says, write a book, you just say yes and then figure it out, which is kind of what I've done all my life. So um, yeah, it was quite good fun. I enjoyed it. That's cool. Yeah, we kind of experienced the same thing as far as COVID and, you know, people starting new businesses and just, you know, business ramping up for sure. So it's, I mean, on that aspect, it's been good. What about your book, your new book? But real quick, I'm, I just want to say I'm super stoked to see that, that little illustration of your head up in the, on the cover of the book. Yeah, like, that's, that's pretty cool That's to awesome, see. yeah. yeah. Well, yep. we're, we're excited to see that. Yeah, that's cool. Um, but yeah, we, uh, we also have a new book coming out. <laughs> yeah, and of... honestly, I mean, there is, sorry, I'm going to say it so you can get it in. Um... <laughs> Uh, basic, ba- there is a, there is a, there is an ode to you in this book. I so say you guys, as a, as a crew, Lincoln have been a, you know, a massive inspiration to me when I started up my agency. And there is a, there is a nice little um, page for Lincoln in this book. Um, so yeah, I just want to take this opportunity to say thank you for inspiring me. That's all I'll say. Hell yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. That's that's awesome. And yeah, if you ever get out here to the to the you know america west coast we got to link up and have some beers and absolutely yeah hang out to be included yeah yeah Yeah, thank you man that's an honor to be included well yeah we we have a new book coming out as well um in november i don't want to get too deep into to our thing but it's uh illustration mayhem so keep an eye out for that we're uh we're in the middle of working on it um because we're self-publishing we can kind of wait till the end almost um (laughs) we give ourselves like a three or four week print print uh, kind of deadline so we're in the middle of uh cranking on that thing getting it laid out and designed and everything so that'll be coming out uh yeah for everybody that loved logo mayhem it's essentially the same idea just with illustrations instead of logos yep yeah so that that will be coming out it was cool to kind of roll through those projects with you and uh reconnect again i know you're you're super busy we're kind of over here cranking as well and it's you know it's hard to kind of sit down and and carve out that carve out that time but i appreciate you rolling through it all it's like i said it was super fun um to kind of just dig into to who you were on in your brand and and help build some graphics for it so so yeah thank you for working with us on that no honestly it's um it was the pleasure was all mine i promise like i said uh like a, a dream come true to work with you guys um and you didn't disappoint which i knew you wouldn't but and you know what you know we'll probably end up doing six seven eight nine ten twenty different <laughs> projects together i'd imagine over the next decade or so so um yeah i'm pumped um yeah good uh good to be involved with you guys for sure all right cool that was fun that was our first kind of kind of video deal worked out well and cool to catch up with james and yeah yeah i only see him on instagram so to interact with him uh you know he seems like a pretty funny dude online so to you know interact with him on here uh he's a cool dude i would love to hang out with him you know Yeah, I mean, to your point, like you had talked about, hey, can we get him to fly out here? Yeah. It was like, damn. I mean, it would have been well worth it, you know, if it wasn't such a weird time. Totally. Yeah. yeah. 
Maybe next time. Yeah, let's let's uh, plan that for uh, next year. Yeah, I mean, like you said, hopefully, you know, we're gonna work together again. So yeah. if we can get a couple more projects going, we'll get together. Either we go out there, he comes out here. Ah, oh, screw it, let's go out there. That, <laughs> right, that's true. what we gotta do. Yeah, that'd be better. Yeah, but yeah, just want to thanks uh, thank uh, James for for doing this with us, and it was cool to catch up. Yeah, solid dude, solid work. Yep. Yeah, thanks, man. Okay, so we uh, last week we dropped the uh, the new book. Yeah, pre-orders. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. The logo mayhem was a smash. So, you know, what are we gonna do next? Illustration mayhem. Yeah, and we kind of went back and forth. I have a, a, I've talked about this, a skateboard, basically graphics book that's halfway done. So it was kind of like, hey, do do we do this or do we do like illustration mayhem or something else? Yeah. But the illustration mayhem makes makes sense. And, yeah, no brainer. I mean, yeah. that's like you know half of the studio. So yeah, we, we you know we have to do that. So. So that thing's in the works. It's up on the website for pre-order. So uh, get out there, order that thing. We'll get a bunch of sales, which yeah. is great. It will ship uh, end of November. November. Yep. yep. So. And yep. then uh, if you if you pre-order it now, uh, it comes with a sketchbook. Yeah, you get a sketchbook free with that thing. So. Yep. We have a nice little you know logo mayhem, or I'm sorry, illustration mayhem logo on the cover. Yep. Uh, clean pages for you all to draw on, and uh, yeah, just trying to do a nice gift with purchase. Yeah. Point of difference. So. Yeah, for that for that pre order pre order. Yeah, hop on there and, and uh, grab that thing. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, and then uh, real quick, we got to make the skate mayhem next after this. We do, we do. That thing is it's been in the works for a long time. Yeah, yeah. 10, 20, 15 <laughs> yeah, years. Yeah. I don't even know. I lost it, count, but it's been a while. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get that thing rolling. That'll be uh, the third installment for uh, next year for the mayhem series. Yeah, yep. exactly. So. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, what what uh, like, subscribe, comment. Yes. Uh, what uh, else do the kids do these days? Yeah. Follow us on Instagram. Yep. Maybe on TikTok. YouTube. Yeah. Ring the bell. Ring. Yeah. Do that. <laughs> All that stuff. We need to put a song. Uh, what is that our song we can add in there? I don't know. No. Told the bell. <laughs> to Who the bell? The uh, yeah. I don't know. Uh, uh, we'll we'll YouTube strike us for that. We, we gotta put that on <laughs> Probably. there. Probably.